the affirmative side wanted to see the that um, by raising the minimum wage, poverty will be decreased. When in fact, um, it won't have any significant effect on raising poverty. Um, two studies done by David Newmark in 2002 indicated that um, while minimum wage increase um, both the probability that poor families escape poverty and the po or probability that previously non-poor families will fall into poverty. In 2004, he did another study uh, and said the evidence on both family income distributions and changes in incomes experienced by families indicates that minimum wages raise the incomes of some poor families, but that the net effect of higher minimum wage wages is, if anything, to increase the proportions of families that are poor and near poor. Thus, it would not appear that um, reductions in poverty or near poverty should not be counted among the potential benefits of minimum wages. Now, I know they're a little bit outdated, but I feel that the, the fundamentals behind it um, will be lasting because the numbers may change, but it's still going to be within reason that it's not going uh, not going to affect the outcome of poverty. Um, secondly, they made the claim that um, it won't cause inflation when, in fact, it will create cost push inflation, which is businesses raising prices and um, to compensate for. Uh, being charged more. Um, Friedman, in 2014, um, said it's inevitable that when you force companies to raise wages, jobs are lost, and ultimately cost is passed along to the consumer. Um, and the most recent one I found was by Vanessa Wong in, on February 25th, 2014. She said that restaurants are a large, low-wage employer, and in the, uh, industry executives have grumbled that wages um, increase that wage increases are driving up the price of doing business. To maintain profits, a number of chains have recently announced plans to partially offset the increases by passing them to consumers. Uh, a couple examples of these are Jack in the Box, which is to increase um, their menu prices either 1.4% just in California or a little less than 1% across all its restaurants by 2015 when the Cheesecake Factory boosting its prices by 2% this year. Um, the firm have also claimed that um, businesses have enough money to compensate for these uh, minimum wage increases for their lowest paid employees, but um, they have a specific profit margin that they have to meet, which is about 3 to 4%, and if they raise the minimum wage, or their employees' minimum wage um, pays, then they're going to be cut short on their um, 